Team, there's something I gotta tell you. I've been using Mac OS. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! I'm not I'm not proud of it, okay? And MacBooks are actually really great hardware. See the the battery life is like 20 hours or something. But when it comes to the UI and my workflow, I just miss working on Linux so much. And the UI is really awesome for boomers, but, but unfortunately, I'm not a boomer. And so I'm just not vibing with the UI. PrimeVision was totally right when he said, Now you're buying an expensive ass battery and that is it. The battery life makes these things incredible. The build quality relatively good, but you've got no right to repair. You can't upgrade anything. So generally speaking, I wouldn't recommend a MacBook. And we need to write this wrong. We gotta fix this situation. I just can't be working on a MacBook anymore. And so I thought, okay, what, what are the machines that I'd like to work on? Well, Sandeep over at Business Sales at Lenovo, he hasn't got back to me for like 12 months or since January of this year. So it's been, what, you know, 11 months. Uh, so I'm gonna cross off Lenovo. Their, their newer stuff's just not as good as their old stuff. So I went on to Gumtree, which is kind of like Facebook Marketplace in Australia, and I found this. And so have a look on the screen. The specs of this thing, I mean, it was destroyed. And it is a 2021 Asus G14 Zephyrus. Now, these are really awesome Linux machines. Not only are they super powerful, um, now I will be giving up a little bit of the battery life, not even a little bit, Let, let's, let's be real here. But what we will lose in battery life, we'll get back in mental health, right? So this is kind of cool. Now, this machine is heavily upgradable. So in this video, we're gonna upgrade the RAM, we're gonna upgrade the SSD, we're gonna upgrade the Wi-Fi card, I'm gonna replace the screen with a higher resolution screen. This is it, just here, by the way. Uh, this is the fully restored version. But we're gonna do all that in this video. And this is gonna be my new Linux daily driver and it's gonna be the machine that I use all the time. Now, one cool thing about these Asus machines is that they also come with their own Asus CTL that I'll just show you on the screen. So they've got their own Linux um, utility to, you know, you can, you can control the fans, you've got all the buttons that are supported. So you've got some additional stuff here for the performance mode and all that kind of thing. So that's all supported and that, that means that Along with ThinkPad, these are really, really excellent Linux machines. Okay, before we open up the laptop, let's go through the parts that I've got for it, all right? All right, so the first thing is the screen. Now, the screen was cracked on the right-hand side. It was a bunch of dead pixels. I mean, the laptop was like a car had driven over it or something, and it was didn't actually confirm the existing screen, but you know, you could see the resolution wasn't very high. So I got the highest available resolution that I could get, which is 1440p display, and it's 165 hertz. So this is the screen that I'm putting in it. Next, I'm not gonna replace the whole keyboard because the thing about the keyboard is that the OEM keyboards are often a little bit more tactile, clickier. So I've got the replacement key there. All the other keys are working. Now, the headphone jack is actually broken. So I've got a new headphone jack. I'm gonna to have to solder this onto the motherboard. Okay, so next we have the RAM. And I've got 32 gig sodium, DDR4 3200 is the speed. And you wanna get the CL22 to make sure that it works on this unit. Now, ordinarily these G14s from that generation did have eight gigs soldered to the motherboard. So you can only, there's only one upgradable slot. You may see a drop in performance when it comes to the dual channel. You're still gonna get dual channel. You're gonna have flex mode is what it's called. But at some point uh, it's gonna be on single channel because say you've got eight gig in the machine and then say eight gig on this stick running in uh, flex mode, but eventually you're gonna run out of that 16 gig. And so the additional uh, RAM on top of that, you may you, you will see a drop in performance. Now for gaming, you might wanna just stick with the 16 gig. For myself, cause I'm doing video editing, I want the 40 gig of RAM. And so I've got that. Okay, so for the Wi-Fi card, I got the AX210 and the 
Asus laptops, they ship with MediaTek Wi-Fi cards, which are like notoriously bad. In this case, I'm gonna upgrade it to this. This is give us better Bluetooth as well, and the Wi-Fi 6E. Okay, the palm rest, as I mentioned, the palm rest is pretty used and abused on that one. So I got a new palm rest. This looks really nice. And so we're gonna, once we're done, the machine's gonna really feel like totally new laptop. The lid, so the lid on the other one was bent and so I've got a replacement lid and that combined with the palm rest, new screen and replacement key, they're all kind of the external items. I also got, for good measure, a replacement battery. Now, depending on if you're going to be using this on the go or not, this is actually a 76 watt hour battery and the thing about that is if you think about it a lot of the thinkpads like the newer ones i noticed that they ship with a 53 or 57 watt hour battery admittedly the cpus might be more efficient but of course we can actually use the asus utilities to turn off the dedicated gpu we still get pretty decent battery life using the internal GPU when we're on the move. And then when we're not on the move, we can, of course, enable the dedicated GPU. Now, okay, so when it comes to the internals, on the GPU, I'm gonna be using Thermal Grizzly, and then I've got a Honeywell PTM7950 pad. So this is going to be for the CPU. I've also got Thermal Grizzly Putty. So the thing about the putty is, the putty is going to be for all of the memory uh, units. We're gonna see later when we open up the laptop and we take off the heat sink and everything. But this is going to be for all the GPU memory. And so that kind of summarizes all of the internal stuff. Now, when it comes to the SSD, I'm actually going to be using an SSD that I've already got, which is a Samsung 970 Evo Plus. Now, that's only a third generation, but keep in mind that this laptop only takes third generation NVMe, and you could put in a fourth generation and maybe see slightly better performance. So go ahead and choose something that is suitable for you. In the future, I might upgrade this, but I had this lying around, so that's what I'm gonna go for at the moment. So let's get rid of all this stuff, and now let's open up the laptop. It's time to open up the laptop. This laptop actually has some missing screws, so I'll have to do something about that at some point. But you're concerned with the screws on each corner, two at the back, then you've got these four in the middle, two, uh, halfway down at each side and then four across the front. All of these are gonna be longer and then at the front you've got short and then finally you've got this captive screw down here. All right, so I'm going to remove this and over here I've got a sheet of paper so that I can place all of these screws into the location just so that I don't lose them or we'll get them mixed up. Okay, so once you have removed all the screws then you can go ahead and unscrew this captive screw in the corner here down the right corner. You hear a clicking sound and then you can simply just lift it off. Okay, and so this part I'm gonna keep. All right, so it's super dusty and dirty in here. There's hair everywhere, there's dust. I actually already swapped the SSD in. This was the original SSD, so I've already done that just to test the machine with the operating system that I had. Okay, and so we've already got eight gig of RAM and then there's eight gig soldered. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect the battery. So as you can see here, there's this kind of clip. You just pull that out and now very carefully, I'm just gonna actually remove the RAM to get it out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna grab this Okay, so, and I've just lifted that off just there. Just gonna bend it over so it's not touching anything. And I'm just now gonna remove the battery. Okay, once you've done that, it should just 
left out. Now I'm going to remove the SSD. If we have a look a little bit closer, we can see that this comes with thermal pad here and then this is the MediaTek Wi-Fi which we're going to be getting rid of. So just keep in mind that the, the black cable is at the top, the white is towards the corner. I'm going to disconnect these. Okay, so for the time being, I'm, I'm going to leave the speakers in. I'm going to take off the heat sink, all right? You can see it's super dirty. So let's move our way around. All right, so I've removed everything, but one really tricky part is just here where the keyboard connects to the motherboard. I'm just gently prying this off with this plastic spatula. Okay. So this obviously needed to be repasted. So over here we've got the CPU and over here we've got the GPU. Uh, but I'll come back to that. Okay, so we wanna transfer everything in here into our new case. So here's the new case. And so here it is. This laptop I've been using for about a week. I'm super impressed. I can play Stalker 2, I've got Steam running it, I've installed Fedora, and it's a beautiful laptop. I definitely recommend it. It's super aesthetic. I love that kind of hacker look. They're pretty affordable. You can find them, you know, online, and the specs are great. As I said, it works well with Linux. And you know, if you are using a MacBook or you're stuck on Windows then this is kind of like such a great machine to get started on Linux with, to upgrade. And frankly, it's competitive with a lot of, you know, really new Lenovo's and that kind of thing when it comes to the power. Obviously, I'm gonna be doing video editing. This is gonna be a great machine. So thank you very much for watching. I really enjoyed this. Let me know, are you gonna be upgrading your own machine? Have you got a G14 or do you like them? And let me know if you'd like me to take you through full Linux Rice. At the moment, I've got GNOME running on this with Fedora. I've kind of been moving to Fedora lately. Not sure what you guys think about Fedora, but I love that it's bleeding edge. It's got a lot of the cool things that Arch has, but there's a few little things out of the box that I also use as well. And I'm gonna be setting up Qtile on this. So if you're interested, drop me a comment 
and I'll walk you through my Linux setup. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.